Today I'm going to be cooking one of my all-time favorite Korean dishes, takgalbi. And we realized that we've actually never done like a restaurant review of takgalbi before. That's because once I learned how to make this at home, I just never went out to eat it again. You know, if you can cook at home without any pants on, that's like the best thing, isn't it? Are you wearing pants today? No. This recipe seems complicated because I have like a gazillion ingredients, but it's really just building the sauce and the sauce is just like unceremoniously dumped into a bowl. I usually just make the sauce in like a huge vat and I keep it in a jar in the fridge and it holds forever. And then when you want to cook it, you just add the chicken and the fresh ingredients. Today I'll make a small version so that you guys can follow along at home. the sauce. I'm starting out with my secret ingredient which is adding Korean style curry to this mix. Now when you think of curry you might be thinking of like an Indian curry or Indonesian curry. You want like the yellow curry. I have no other way to explain this to you. So I'm using the ones that are kind of already in a bouillon pack. If you can't find the Korean kind you can actually use the Japanese one as well. I've used both and they work just fine. Okay we're gonna add half a cup of hot water to this and just let it mash around while I'm getting the other stuff together. If you're using fresh ginger you don't have to do this but I'm doing these like really cool Rehydration cubes it makes me feel like I live in the future. Look at them. Isn't that awesome? So it's like fresh ginger, but they've been dehydrated into little cube formats. It's gonna rehydrate them in there. Go rehydrate, my pretties. Get yourself a big bowl for mixing the marinade in. I've already put in my minced garlic, and I'm gonna just dump in all the curry that I already have in here with the garlic, and I'm gonna start adding everything to this as well. This is the great, like, I just put in bowl. Part. Okay, I'm adding the gochugaru, which no, you cannot replace this with like a chili powder or a paprika. This is like a Korean style red pepper flake. So it has a very specific taste to it that I can't explain. Since Simon and I like it really hot, I bought the extra very spicy red pepper powder, but you can get the normal one as well. Oh yeah, we're gonna be farting blood tonight. I'm doing one and a half. You can do two tablespoons if you want, but I like the flavor of it. Okay, a quarter teaspoon of black pepper, one of my all-time favorite Korean words. Do you remember what the word is, Simon? Hoochoo! Hoochoo! Funny story about hoochoo. When Simon and I were teaching, we showed our students Twilight, and there's a part where Bella's dad asks her if she needs pepper spray, and the kids didn't understand what that was, so Simon was like, Okay, it's kind of like you take gochu, which means like pepper, and you like kind of shake it, and then you spray it in someone's eyes. But then he realized that gochu was a slang word for penis, so he basically told his students to take a penis and shake and spray it in someone's eyes, but luckily they were too innocent to understand it, and Simon dove for his cell phone and called me immediately and was like, Do not explain this to your high school schools this way. Make sure you say hoochoo. And then I used hoochoo and it was fine. Penis. Also go to. Add in half a teaspoon of salt. Boom. Boom. Yes, I keep my salt in a strawberry jar, which I can imagine is confusing for some people. Just in case we have some robbers that come here and they want to steal our salt, they'll be thoroughly confused. Super confused. I'm gonna be adding an extra tablespoon of the curry powder. This is, oh no, it's one of these. <laughs> okay, just one second. <laughs> adding in a tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm adding in two tablespoons of mirin, which is like a Japanese sweet rice wine. I don't know how to explain it. Someone explain it for me. Mirin, the old lady actress that won the Oscar. Helen Mirin? Yeah. Yep, they just condense all of her tears and sweat into a bottle and it's really popular in Japan. Yep. I'm adding two teaspoons of sesame oil. You have to use sesame oil because it has a flavor. And I'm gonna add a tablespoon of honey. And then the most important ingredient, gochujang. Okay, we're doing one and a half to two, depending on how you're feeling. Yes, I am wearing a single rubber glove for this. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna grab the chicken that I've already sliced up into strips and just dump it in here to soak for a bit. Come on, chicken. We're gonna let this soak and then we are going to move on to another part of the day. On to stage two, while your chicken is just soaking, if you do have sweet potatoes, you're gonna need to get started on cooking these because it takes a while for them to soften up. Dumping these guys in. And I'm gonna add a little bit of cabbage, just so that we have a little bit of water action happening in there. And I'm popping the lid on. So now while that is steaming, we're gonna start soaking our duck.
Okay. I'm going to add the green onions. Wow, I kind of missed that piece. This one's for you, Simon. Ah, thank you. Now you're not trying to brown all that stuff, you're just trying to kind of like soften it. We're gonna add in all of our chicken and everything now. Make a little hole in the center. I know some people like soak this overnight and everything, but I found no difference. I tried both versions. Oh yeah, smells awesome already. And I'm gonna add in the rest of my cabbage. Boom. The cabbage is really important for adding moisture to this dish, guys. Just make sure everything is nicely coated. Yup, and I'm gonna flatten it down. Okay, it's on medium, yep. And I'm just gonna let this steam for a bit. I'm gonna put on a timer for about eight to 10 minutes. This entire meal is pretty much done within 15 minutes. What kind of timer do you have? It's a bear. Are you a professional chef? Yes. Or are you using a bear timer? That's professional. It's counting down. That's its job. Timer complete. Judgments. Five minutes has gone by. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to this. I'm just gonna add about a quarter cup. We're gonna add duck soon, and I wanna make sure there's enough liquid in here so the duck has something to absorb and cook it. I'm gonna drain off the water. Okay, I'm gonna just add on top now my mushrooms. And now I'm gonna add in the Korean sesame leaves on top of this. If you can't find this, you can actually use basil instead. Guys, come on over here. I have this little tiny garden. It's like a robot garden. I think you guys saw on Instagram, I talked about it a little bit. It's called Click and Grow. You literally put in this little like cartridge with the seeds in it, you just dump in water and plug it in. And we left for Japan. And then when I came back three weeks later, I had full basil. It's awesome. And it's a really nice match for tactile beans. I'm also gonna be adding cheese. What like, kind of cheese is it? Pizza cheese. You're looking for like the lowest quality, meltable mozzarella cheese, not anything high quality. I killed the heat before I added in the basil. I'm just gonna sprinkle this all over with my delicious just fake cheese and then put the lid on it. Okay, let's leave it there for a bit. And then we can get ready for the wrapping part. And I don't mean hip hop wrapping, I mean lettuce. Shouldn't I be doing this part of the video? No, it's fine. You just stay there. But I was barely in it. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna grab a little bit of lettuce here and I'm gonna add a little bit of moo. This is like a pickled daikon radish. Oh yeah, look at that. How does it taste? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what you're saying is you feel like you shouldn't eat anymore and the rest should be just it's given to me. It's super good, oh my god. I totally agree with you. Your first sentiment is your truest one. I'm gonna have the rest myself. Can I put your, put your hand into it? Now, if you've never tried Tech Alvi before, you might be wondering like, what's so special about it? So you got like sweet, you got sour, you got spicy, you got savory. It just all comes together in this like perfect mouthful. It's just, it's a wonderful dish. If you want more specific measurements on how to make this awesome Martina's Tech Alvi choice dish, uh, check out our blog post. I'm gonna put the whole recipe there. And mm, please let me know if you make this because I'm telling you, it's such an impressive dish, so easy to make. And it's delicious. And you can get your whole like lettuce, and hot pepper, choking, to death. You know, I'm sick of this. I didn't have any myself. I'm going. But 